Have you ever thought about the value chain of notary signing services? Like where's the source? Who's in control of it all? Well, in this video today, I'm going to map out exactly who's in control. Uh, at least we're gonna try to attempt to see who's in control of, of our space. And are we gonna get into it right now? Before we dive in, we need to understand the levels of value, right? So the first level of value, and this is all I learned from my mentor, Myron Golden. Shout out to Myron Golden for this. The first level is implementation phase, right? Oops. The implementation phase The implementation phase is the lowest level of value. This is the person that goes out and they actually do the thing, right? So as notaries, the lowest level is us actually going out and doing the signing, right? That's the lowest level of um, value in, in our marketplace. The next level of value will be unification. The unification phase is the person who manages other notaries. So that'll be signing services, right? In our case, signing services is the next level of value in the marketplace. The, the next level of value in the marketplace, and this is this is generalized, but um, will be the communication phase. The, communica the communication phase. The communication phase is someone who is able to, to clearly articulate value in the market. So someone who's like a thought leader in the marketplace, um, who's able to speak on different topics when it comes to um, the notary space, the lending space, uh, um, title space, who's able to articulate that will be considered a, a high level of value in our space. All right. And the last is the imagination phase. The imagination is someone who's a thought leader who thinks about new ideas, who's able to implement, for example, AI in a notary, who's able to uh, use like um, a, a, a good thing to imagine in our space would be to use like um, like cryptocurrency to buy to buy um, to buy real estate or to use like the blockchain. Um, instead of using a notary, we can use a blockchain to 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 um, verify verify the ID of uh, a signer. So that would be like an imagination phase. That would be the next phase. So somebody who's imagining these things are the highest level of value in our space. All right. So those are the four levels of value and anything from communication to imagination. That's where the wealthy is. That's where the wealthy space is. And between the unification and implement implementation phases, that's the lowest, that's the lower level of, of value. Okay. So now let's take a step back a little bit and let's try to think about this from a product level, right? Um, so from a, from, a, from a product level, so say for example, that you had a company that made um, jam, right? That made jam. So, so let's look at the value of a company that made jam. So the person who makes jam, let's say a apricot jam, every weekend they go to the farmer's market and they look for, they look for different jams. Sorry, they look for different <laughs> apricots that's freshest in the market that weekend. They'll buy it. They'll go to their kitchen, they'll make it, they'll jar it, and then they'll sell it to a whole food market or they may go direct to consumer. They may have a website where they sell direct to consumer where they sell their jams, right? Um, that's the implementation phase. Um, that'll be correlated to the implementation, right? And then we have a farmer's market, right? So the farmer's market, they sell, they sell the, the actual apricots to the person making the jam, right? Every weekend. But then where does the farmer, where does the per person at the farmer's market get their apricots from? They may grow it themselves or they may go to like a bigger farm, a big farmer, right? So we just call it BF, a big farmer. And that big farmer has acres and acres of land where they cultivate and they grow apricots to then sell it to the farmer's market. And then they, they'll sell those apricots, the, the big apricots to the farmer's market. And then um, the farmer's market would then sell that to the um to the person um uh, to the to the person that wants to sell and, and jar those apricots right in some cases the big farmer they may even have representation at the smaller farmers markets and they may even take it a step further and sell direct to consumer so they may have a website where they sell those uh they 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 they, they, they make the preserves they they put them in a jar and they sell them to say whole foods or they may sell it to other local farmers um and other um smaller farms right so that's a product-based business and we could use this we're using um a, a, a jar of um apricots in this example but that could be anything right any uh, that could be we could look at it in, in the fashion world we could look at it in any facet right so now let's take it let's now let's look at this in the notary space right 
And I'm, I'm just going to warn you ahead of time that it's easier to source this. It's easier to find the source or to find the value chain when it comes to products. But when it comes to services that you'll see in a second, it's, it's a lot harder to, 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 to dissect. Right. So now let's look, let's look at the notaries. So on the bottom, we have the notary signing agents, right? That goes out, they get the signing request. They go out to the signer's location and they do the signing there. Right. You look at a step further, we have title agencies, right? We have title agencies and notaries try to go to title agencies to get business from, but most times, most new notaries, they go to signing services, right? So signing services, we can look at the broker, um, who has a, a, a good relationship with um, title agencies and the title agencies, whenever they have a request, they'll go to the signing services and say, they'll go to the signing service and say, Hey, find an order for me for this job. And then the, that signing service would then go to a notary, um, agent and get, send a job request there. So you can look at a signing service as a broker. And if we look at a step further, the notary signing agent is doing the implementation. The signing service is doing the unification because they are managing other notaries, right? So that's and then we have the the, 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 the the title agencies, right? So um, notaries may go direct to a title agency as they get become established and get their business that way as well. So that's essentially our world as notaries. But let's look at it a step further. Uh, title agencies market to loan officers, right? They market to loan officers to get that business, right? So then loan officers then um, they market to loan officers and they try to get the relationship that way between loan officers and title agencies. If you take it a step further, loan officers goes to real estate agents, right? <laughs> they go to real estate agents, they market to real estate agents to get business because they want to get that. They want to get, um, access to the, to the borrower, right? And real estate agents, they have a direct relationships with the borrower, right? So the borrower is where it all stems from, right? So the real estate agent markets to the borrower, the loan, or let's, let's take a step back. The, not the notary, the notaries market to signing services and title agencies to get businesses, to get business. Title agents goes to loan officers to get business. Loan officers go to real estate agents to get business. Real estate agents goes to the borrower to get business. And this is not even thinking, thinking about other vendors involved. We're not thinking about this, the surveyor. We're not thinking about the, the inspector. We're not thinking about inspector mostly with the loan officer, but we're not thinking about, I'm sorry, the inspector. No, the inspector is goes to the borrower, but I'm, I was confusing with the appraiser. Their appraiser goes with the loan officer. So then we have all, all these other vendors and then we have contractors that's involved and we have, um, like. ADT, like security, and we have all these other vendors of all furniture company, moving companies. We have all of these vendors going after the borrower for that business, right? Um, so where as a notary signing agent, how do, how do we, wh where do we start? Who, who do we go to? Do we continue to go to title agencies to get our business from? Um, or do we go to the borrower? Do we go directly to the borrower and try to get that business from the borrower? But a lot of times when we go to borrowers, I mean, they're getting attacked left and right as far as use me to do this, use me to do that. Right. And then once we have, once we have the buy-in from the borrowers, then they have to translate that to the real estate agent, to the loan officer, to the title agency in order to use us as a notary signing agent. So where is the value here? Where, where can we, where's the, where can we come in and secure our business? Right. Do we continue to depend on title agencies to get our business from? Right. And then the title agencies are also getting attacked by a lot of the citing services and also the notaries. Like what's the source here? So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Whereas in the apricot form, we could then become a farmer, right? We could then start selling the farmer. We could then have an, we could then, if, if we would have a, a product based business and we'd be selling apricots, we could then grow to owning our own farm, right? Where we, where we produce apricots. And then we could then translate that down back down to drawing, drawing, <laughs> drawing the, making the jam and selling the jam that way. When it comes to a service-based business and as a notary, as you can tell right here, it's very complicated. So I'm looking for your feedback on this. I'm looking to see who do you feel we should go to as notaries in order to secure our business? Do we continue to go to title agencies, which I think is a necessity? Or do we start leaning more towards the loan officers or real estate agents, or do we go to borrowers and start getting our business that way? So 
leave a comment below. Um, this is an open discussion that I've been kind of been in my mind lately and started to think about um, as we grow in, into this space. Thank you for your time. And I look forward to, to seeing your comments below. All right. Peace.